Well, since I've been talking about the 10 virgins today, I wanted to see about making an oil lamp. I just thought that would be a fun way. And this is an oil lamp that we're gonna be using mason jars to do that. And these are natural, they're very easy to make. And I think they really can bring the wow factor to your home when you're entertaining guests or maybe doing outdoor dinner parties. So now for the list of materials that you're going to need for creating these mason jar oil lamps is really quite short. We're gonna be using a few mason jars. You can get either a small one or you might wanna use a large one depending on what you like. Or you could even get these beautiful colored ones. You're gonna need wick. Now I purchased a big spool of wick, which is already pre, supposedly coated with something to help you with getting your lamp wit, lit. Or in this case, you could also use these um, strings. This is cotton. I also found some thin hemp uh, cord that I thought would be fun to use as well. And you're also gonna need to have some gauge wire. Now, you can buy the real thin wire, uh, but in this case, I got a thicker one with a color because I thought it'd be prettier. So this is really gonna be the support mechanism for the wick itself and for decorating your jar. So of course, you're gonna have to need some kind of fuel for it. So we're gonna be using olive oil to fuel our lamp. We're also going to add in some fragrance. So I wanna use some lemon today, as well as rosemary, okay? That sort of makes it fun, as well as maybe decorating it. So to begin, we're gonna go ahead and use our wire gauge. So you're gonna to wanna to cut out a piece, or you can just use it straight from the roll here. And we're gonna be rolling it around our jar just to get the right length. And then we just need to have enough to come over the sides and down in the middle, in which we're going to actually hook around our piece of uh, wick, okay? So what I've already done is I actually cut a piece for that length, and then I also have this one that I already sort of cheated and pre-made for you guys so you could see this and how it works. It doesn't have to be perfect, just so that it bends down. And then you can tighten it with your snips or you know your jewelry tools. You can just tighten it up a little bit so it'll hold your wick. Now, before we wanna put that in, we wanna decorate our jar. So I wanted to add some fresh herbs. Now this is rosemary, and also we're having some fresh lemon slices, which is really beautiful. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just sort of, we wanna measure these out. So I'm gonna to have to trim them to get them to fit in the jar, okay? So we're just gonna sort of place those in there. So trim those off, put a few in there. And I wanna add a couple of slices of lemon just to make it more beautiful. And now I've gotta fill it up with my oil. Now, just depending on the size of your jar and how much you wanna put in there. Now, I have this already wrapped with the wick and we have to make sure we leave enough that it will soak up the oil inside here. So we need to just sort of push that down in there. You can use your finger if you don't mind getting a little oil on it. And then we're gonna just wrap this around the jar and just tighten it up a bit. And you're going to need to trim your wicks, just like the wise virgin did, right? So we're gonna get our scissors. We wanna make sure it's not too long, but we just wanna leave enough there and trim that. Olive oil is great to use because if it tips over, it's not gonna burn the whole house down. It actually puts itself out. But you know what? We have one more step. We gotta add our essentials. So I'm gonna add two or three drops of lemon and two or three drops of rosemary. All right, and now we just need to light it. Isn't that beautiful? 